Hello everyone, I'm Ariane the Artsy Crafter. Welcome to my channel. I'm still working on my travel journal, uh, getting it ready for my trip. Um, and I've sewn in all the signatures now, so it's all ready to go to uh, do the rest, finish it off. So the next thing I want to do is to add some pockets. And uh, the pockets that I want to add first are ones there where I can um, store some of the um, little bits and pieces that I collect on my travel, you know, like the, um, tickets and brochures and um, postcards, all that kind of thing. And I want to put them in a, a pocket together so that uh, when I go and work in my journal, I can just, I'll have them there in order and I just have to go into the pocket and uh, get out all the bits and pieces as I'm writing in my journal. Uh, with this journal, I, I'm wanting to use up all my either recycled papers or uh, things I've got in my stash that I need to get rid of. And uh, these envelopes are one thing I've got a ton of, so I want to use these up. And I've got different types of envelopes that I can turn into storage pockets. So that's those. Um, the other thing I have to use is, uh, I've got lots of coffee paper or coffee dyed paper there are different ones, uh, book pages. Also, I've got brown paper as well. They're just some of the things I have. Um, I've also got a lot of those 12 by 12 scrapbook papers that I've never used. They've been in my stash for years um, from the days I used to do scrapbooking. And so I want to use up some of those somehow uh, in this journal. And so there's uh, some of the things that I'm going to be using, recycling. So first of all, this first um, envelope here, I, as I said, I want to put it at the beginning and uh, as I would have shown you before, I like, I've got four signatures in each in this journal and the other one and I've got that glued down, <laughs> that'll be right. Uh, and I like putting uh, covers on each of my signatures, so that's what there that is. And then on the back here is where I want to add the envelopes as <clears throat> excuse me as I said I've got four signatures in here so I want to do four of these particular envelope uh, sorry not envelopes pockets four of these particular pockets and the front one here is going to be very easy to attach because uh, this one is just slit open that way so I can just slip this on to this little flip out here and I can attach it that way so that's my first one that I'm going to do that way. And I'm not going to bother about this window. I don't want the window, so don't worry about the window there. And so I can flip this out. And then instead of, I want a flap on it, so I'm going to attach a flap to it. And so because I'm going to attach a flap to it, I'm going to actually close this side. And then on the back here, I'm going to add a pocket if I can move that out there but the flap here won't be um, a flap to close it'll be a flap because I might want to put down I don't know some information some um, uh, you know a table of contents or notes or anything like that so I want that at the beginning as well so I thought if I did that as a flip out um, <coughs> excuse me oh goodness I got something stuck in my throat yes so I thought that would be a place a good place to have it at the beginning so to do the flap um, I'm going to use this coffee dyed paper so I'll measure that out and I'll probably cover up um, two-thirds of this page so that I've got enough room to actually write on so I'll be cutting this down and I'll be slipping it into here so that will be the first job and the second job is I'm going to, um, I thought the easiest way to cover this panel here would be to use these and make a collage. And so I'll do that with that. And then on the back here, I actually want to, because we're going to be leaving on our trip from Queensland where it's subtropical climate there. So I thought I wanted to just make a background here to reflect that in the pocket somehow. And I thought I'm going to use the inspiration of the, um, the tropical waters in Queensland, they're all blues and aquas. So to reflect that, 
The first thing I'm going to do, I'll put that aside. Actually, I'll take my envelope out so I can work on it and move these pages away. And I've got this piece of plastic here and I'm going to use the book page here um, and my envelope, where I do with my envelope. So the envelope is going to be on this side. So that should be wide enough because so I'm going to paint this back as a background for here and then I'm going to tear it up into strips. So I'm going to do um, a blend of the different tropical colours, the blues and aquas, and I've got my paints out here. So I'll do this and then I can let this um, leave this aside to dry while I get on with the rest of the envelope and I can't get the plastic off. There we go. And I might move that across and I haven't cleaned this up from the last time I used it, um, which is naughty me. But anyway, we, I won't have to use that. So I'll spray some water on there to activate. And then I've got my clean water jar up here and my dirty water jar and a tissue to clean the um, paintbrush off. And then I'm not going to do... Um, think about this I'm just going to wet my brush and I uh, will go into just go into the colors and I'll start down the bottom I suppose and I'm just going to do a variety of different blues and greens So hopefully that will give a, um, enough variation in these colours. You could sit here and play with them all day, but we don't have time for that. <laughs> so, so I've got some variation. Okay, stop painting, put your brush down. <laughs> and get on with the rest of it. So I'll put that aside for now to dry. So the next thing I want to do is to cut this flap out. So I will measure this up. Um, here and just roll across. And cut this out. Actually, I want to make sure, so that's going to be there, and I need a hinge to go inside, so I will add a hinge on there, and so this one, to make it 4 inches or 10 centimeters, plus another half inch, or um, half inch or 1.5 centimeters, so that gives me 4.5. And I can just tear this off like that and here. Make it just a tad smaller than the envelope. And then fold this back, make the hinge. And then we'll test it out to see that it fits in there. There we go. So that fits in comfortably there. So I can, um, go, it needs to go right up to that crease. So it sits snugly. I'm going to just collage this front panel here. So I'll put this one aside and uh, it's all ready to go. The other thing is I want to attach a pocket to the back and I want to collage that as well. So I'll cut out another piece of paper for that one. And... Uh, want a fairly tall pocket so I'm just going to cut a piece out and I'm going to hinge it as well so I'll have to measure it <laughs> that's the only thing for it so this is about 9 or 23 centimeters um, wide this envelope so I want to do about two-thirds so I might do a five inch or 12 and a half centimeter tall pocket I'll do a half inch or one and a quarter centimeter um, hinge on either side. 
So I'll fold that back. And of course this doesn't have to be exact. It's just the hinge. So that will attach to there. And then the other side will be here. And do the same. So that will go on the bottom there. And then I will, um, of course, I want to collage these first. So I'm going to leave those hinges folded under because I don't want to um, collage them. Otherwise, I'll make them too thick. So I'll put that aside. So now it's a matter of uh, getting my envelope on the right side and this uh, pocket and collage these two. And of course, you've seen collage being done before just a matter of tearing out bits of paper and gluing them onto the page i'll go ahead and collage these piece, these panels and then uh, it'll be something like that and then i'll come back and uh, we can get on to the next stage okay i've got those two pieces uh, finished now and what I'm going to do now is use some gesso. Um, I could have used gesso or white acrylic paint or even modeling paste will work with this. And then I just got a paintbrush and I had to water my gesso down because I haven't got very much left, but I want to use it up. And all I'm going to do is mainly, um, I did this on a video a while ago um, where I did a collage without a backing paper and I used um, some white acrylic paint to blend all the papers together so they become one cohesive paper and they stick together so I'm going to do that again with these just to blend out some of those um, where they join where the papers overlap or join uh, just so they're blended together and get rid of some of that background print on those pages and I don't want to cover it all up and also the brown paper um, lighten it a little bit as well just so that I've got a cohesive background because I'm going to be painting over the top of uh, this collage paper Okay, there we go quick and easy and I'll just leave these um, aside to dry and uh, then I'll show you what I'm going to paint on top of that okay these two panels are nice and dry now so oops except for that little bit in the corner there <laughs> must have been a bit of a lump uh, make sure there's no others okay and the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to draw a vine on here and then put some little uh, leaves and I might use um, pencil first because uh, I don't trust myself with the, the pen <laughs> or uh, and I've got two I'm going to use gel pens and these are just two different greens I might use this green and uh, as I said uh, I will go over and I'll do some uh, vines just some continuous vines and um, you know nothing fancy or anything make sure I got some uh, lead in my pencil and I just draw around and oops that's why I like to do it in pencil because I bump <laughs> all over the place and just you know make up your own vines Okay, and then it's just a matter of putting leaves on there and I'm not going to paint the leaves. I mean, I'm not going to draw the leaves. I'm just going to paint the leaves and then uh, I will go over it in my gel pen.
and before I do this one I'm going to <laughs> do what I forgot I was going to do and that's spray some coffee dye on it uh, I think that's the easiest way to add some color um, to the background instead of just being blank white and I was meant to do this before I did uh, the scrolls but I'll see um, how this works over that gel pen I don't know how it's going to work out and of course we've got to leave that to dry put that aside and do this one because you can use inks as well add some color to that background so I'm just going to do that because it's I've got it on hand and clean up my mess and I'll go and dry that and uh, come back and continue on and I think I might have to redo um, these vines because they kind of faded a little bit when I put the coffee on them like that but I can do that later and then this one the gel pen works quite well over the top of the coffee dye so I'm pleased with that and we'll speed this up a bit Okay, so the next thing is to get the, because um, you could do this in inks um, or gel pen um, or paint. I'm used to doing the paint, so I'll do it in the paint. You can do pencils, um, but I'll see how I go with the paint. And I've got a small paintbrush this time and I just want to do small leaves so I'll see how this works out um, and see what color these leaves are going to turn out just want little leaves and I suppose I should start here and not too much water on my brush and I might go to a bigger brush I think see how that works out Okay, I'll keep doing this. Um, it's pretty straightforward. So I'll do this to the two lots and then I'll come back and uh, show you. This is just the first layer and you can see there. And then I can add highlights to it um, when these, this layer finish, uh, dries. So I'll come back and I'll show you that. Okay, there's my leaves. And now I'm just going to add a touch of another color to them, something a little bit brighter. And show you what I mean. Here and there, just to do some, give some highlights to these leaves. Okay, there's my panels of leaves. Now I can um, add splatters of gold, or all those kinds of things, but I'll leave it for now. Um, and get on with the rest of it and this is going to go on slip into here and what I'm going to do here is get some fancy scissors and cut this
cut this top off I mean cut the along that edge and of course this is going to be the uh, pocket top and I want to do the same And then I'm just going to use some ink and ink around the edges. There we go. And so that's going to fit into there. Before I do that, I've got to decorate this other side. So it's just a matter of... Uh, I'm tearing these edges to make it look like waves. And I also, um, that was a lighter sheet, did a second sheet um, and it didn't get any lighter than I, <laughs> the original one, but anyway. I just thought the original one was a little bit dark and ends up the uh, second one I did was just as dark. I so it's just a matter of placing them on here. Uh, I'm not going to go all the way down. I'm just going to go down to here. Uh, just mark just beneath this line here uh, because the pocket will be covering that up and I'll have to ink around those edges. So it's just a matter of uh, placing them one on top of the other to give you some variation. To make them look like um, waves, you need light and dark. And I wish there was a bit more contrast. I made them a little bit too dark, I think. Uh, not to worry, something like that. So my waves. <laughs> okay, I will uh, go and cut these out, and then I can glue it down. So that's just the background, um, and I could ink around the edges, but I might just leave it as it is. And then this will be the pocket that goes over the top. So I'll go do that now. Okay, I've got that glued down and now I can put this on. But before I do that, I cut out some uh, panels from my scrapbook papers and I want to put them on the front like that so to uh, outline them I'm going to use some black ink my black ink here and I just open up the pad and I'm just going to go around the edges and rub that on the edge like I did with these I didn't think they stood out enough so I did the same with those ones and just to give it a border there we go just so it stands out from the background and have it on there and then when that ink dries I will go along and I'll actually draw some lines along across here actually I'll show you how I do the uh, lines I'm just going to line it up to here and use my cutting board as a guide to put some lines in There you go, there's my real lines, just uh, in case I wanted to make some lists or itemize something rather, I can do that. Got some guidelines there, so I'll glue these in now. 
Okay, now it's just a matter of move that a bit there of uh, gluing this into here and then I can either I can leave that open if I want you to or I'll close it over but I'll just glue this in for now and decide that later on when I'm uh, working in the journal see if it closes properly yes Okay, now I've got to remember that this is sliding onto um, my journal. So I just leave that aside to remind myself that's what I'm doing. And then now I just have to glue these hinges down and the bottom and then I can attach my pocket. So I don't know why I didn't have the pocket going right to the edges. But... It, it all works out in the end. Okay. Just take a moment for the glue to dry. I'll drop my other tissue. And I think we're almost finished. So it's just a matter of sliding this in. Yeah, I've got to glue that in. Just want to make sure that it's going to fit. It is. And Oops. Wanted to match these colors, and of course, as I said, it's uh, I like these this paper because it reminds me of the Queensland beaches with the uh, all the shells, shell beaches, and whatnot. So that's um, and I can leave that, and I've grunged that up already by <laughs> the paint um, on there, so I can make some more notes there if I wanted to. But that's my um, idea of uh, um, going straight from my imagination to uh, what actually ended up. And I wasn't quite sure about this, but I, um, I don't mind it, I think. It might grow on me. And of course, I've got to cover this page. And maybe if I put something on here like this, um, I think that would make it look a lot better and it kind of matches my paper that I did here, these title pages. It kind of matches with all those blotches. So I will do that. I won't do that now. You've seen um, panels being attached to a page, but I, this just gives you an idea of what it might look like and it'll look a bit better than, <laughs> than the blank page. So there we go. And uh, I'll attach this off camera. You don't need to see me doing that. So thank you very much for watching along. Um, I hope that you got something out of it, some inspiration of uh, if you're doing, you don't have to be doing a travel journal. You could be doing any kind of journal. And this just give you, gives you some ideas of uh, how to decorate some of the pages. So thank you very much for watching along. And I will continue showing you a few more of these um, pockets, I think. I'll, I'll keep doing it until I've finished them. And uh, I, that will be the next video. So I'll see you all then. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.